want to create as many different kind of modes of entry as we can for our members. People always associate CrossFit with group training. Um, and that's one and you know a very popular and important expression of it. But sometimes maybe it's not that CrossFit's not right for you, it's that the group program might not be right for you, or you might have that perception. Whatever we can do to get people in here, whether it's you know group, personal training, special population, but we're all doing you know functional movements, high intensity, constantly varied. It's, we're all doing the same thing here. Yeah. So when I started CrossFit, I was three months post aortic valve replacement. I walked into this gym and gave David my medical history. And I'm a uh, two-time cancer survivor from age 30 on up and then at age 52. And then the damage to my aortic valve was from the therapy that I received from my cancer treatment to keep me alive. And uh, the aortic valve replacement was successful, but I really desperately needed some physical activity. I brought Judy in with me. and. Um, it's been wonderful and successful. It's really helped me manage my chronic um, issues related to chronic disease. So I'm, I look at myself as a living example of what CrossFit can do for people if they put the effort into it. You know, retire, have less physical activity than when you were even working. Kick your feet up and not move. That seems to be part of the culture of getting older in this country. And we know that that's the kiss of death. That's the kiss of death for people in their 60s and above. They stop moving. I mean, that old adolescent cliche that you and I have heard many times, use it or lose it, is really true. All right, so we're doing a three by three sumo today. So we're gonna bump the weight 10 pounds, we're gonna decrease the volume a little bit. Um, I, I've always been active, I've always, we've biked, we hike, we've done a lot of that stuff. Um, I just felt I didn't have, I was losing the stamina that I needed to continue that kind of activity. Um, as it relates to our grandchildren, we have, we have three young grandchildren. You know, they get heavy as they get older. I remember one day, uh, so I think the older one was about 35 pounds. The younger one was in a stroller that weighed, felt like it weighed 100 pounds. And both of them just sort of gave up walking. So I'm pushing this stroller that has a baby in it, probably a total of 125 pounds, and carrying the older one on my hip, walking uphill in Brooklyn. And I got to the top of the block and I thought to myself, Wow, I actually did that. I never could have done it before. So it's just given me the ability to feel like I can do more stuff without um, injuring myself or without really just getting exhausted. You feel good today? Feel strong? You know, feel good? You feel great. So we have to answer the, um, the anti-wisdom, if you will, that exercising when you're over 60 is just as important, if not more important, than when you're 30, 20, 30, or 40. And to reverse that, it's gonna take some time. I mean, it doesn't happen by just telling someone once or twice. You know, you have to show them. My neighbors, to use them as an example, will ask me, well, a CrossFit gym, what, how can they handle people with chronic disease, no matter what it is, diabetes, hypertension, and it's not that CrossFit coaches are doctors, but they have lots of experience with the human body that's applicable to the older 60 adult. And that's where the, the expertise, I think, is so important. I felt empowered when I was able to take the grand, you know, my two granddaughters, you know, we were sort of, we were gonna be stranded on the street if I hadn't been able to actually move them back to the house and I felt empowered or, yeah, I can do this. I'm, you know, I'm okay with this. So I guess that's sort of an outgrowth of what I like about being able to lift barbells because it lets me do the other stuff. I, I, I just, it, it's, it still amazes me that I can even do it. So it's that sort of awe factor, oh, I did that. <laughs> 
I'm 68 now. Um, and when I was 33, I had chemotherapy and radiation therapy and really lost a lot of my vascular vein structure in my upper extremities. And um, it's only after starting CrossFit that I've started to, quote, grow veins again. And uh, it's gratifying. It's another small, small example of how exercise works. Exercise is a good thing for the body that's been damaged to a certain degree by chronic insults. In this case, the insults were chemotherapy and radiation that kept me alive. The tone of it changes population to population, but the message is always the same, that you're welcome here and we're gonna challenge you to get better. And I wanted to create an environment where I would have felt comfortable walking in and felt like I was taken seriously. Because I think a lot of people feel like they have to be something that they're not to train in a place like this. That might be the, the preconceived notion. But we want people from the moment they walk in to feel like, hey, this is my home. Um, I'm respected. I, I'm taking the person who's 60 years old is just as important and valuable um, as the person who's 25 years old and, you know, a heavy hitter. So it's the same message. It's the same kind of inclusive vibe for everybody. It's maybe packaged a little bit differently, but it's really just the same thing. And I think that's just such a core human thing that, you know, the mass of our, the majority of our population are people who are a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, and they're looking for their home. They're looking for their family, their, their tribe. Um, and that's what we try to create. Try it, you'll like it. Take a chance. Put forward the effort because the trajectory is just downhill without it. You know, it's, it's your life, it's the quality of your life going forward, either a good quality and accept, acceptable or better, or a downward trajectory. You know, that's what I would say. So I, I see a lot of par parallels between ecology and running a CrossFit business. And I think of our CrossFit gym as sort of a little ecosystem. And that ecosystem is only as healthy as how biodiverse it is. So for us, what that biodiversity means is having a variety of programs, which is kind of like a variety of niches for people to explore. Because what we want is we want kids, we want older folks, we want people who are into strength sports, we want people who are competitive CrossFitters. And when you have that diversity of population in your gym, it just makes it a much more engaging, interesting, diverse, kind of fun place to be.